Okay guys, we're gonna do a quick and easy look. I have done a little self care with some masking. I have finished off my skincare with my Glow Skin Beauty. This is my Holy Grail SPF 50. I do have another SPF that I'm gonna be trying out, but I have been loyal to that SPF for like two years now. For a quick and easy complexion look, I am going to be using the Sicily. This is the Fito Hydra Tint. This is in light. And I really like to put this on pretty much with fingertips. So I'm just taking a little bit of this guy. And then we are just going to put this all over. Give myself a little bit of coverage. This one doesn't give a huge amount of coverage. It is like perfect for kind of weekends or everyday wear when you don't want to have a perfected kind of look. Just nice, healthy, glowy skin. This is going to be your best friend. I am going to use a little concealer. I'm going to be using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. Yep, you guys, this one, I have to say, I'm not a huge concealer fan, but I love this one. I do not feel like it creases or I feel like this one does not make me look a hundred years old. I love using it all over my skin for a quick and easy makeup look. It's just so pretty. So I'm going to take a little bit of that. Just the consistency is so easy to use. It feels hydrating. Now this one is not going to be if you're looking for a super high coverage concealer then this is probably not what you're looking for. You can build it up and it's got a decent like medium but it is not full coverage and sometimes when you're looking for concealers that's exactly what you're trying to do is conceal so to me i just love the consistency it's thin it feels hydrating and it just gives your skin a nice little luminous glow all about the glow i'm gonna use the champagne color and i am just gonna kind of place this all over the lid. We're using the beautiful tabac. And then I'm going to line my eyes with the chocolate. I'm going to go put on some mascara, clean up my brows, and then we can finish off the face. Okay, I had to get on a quick zoom, so I did put on mascara. So we're going to finish off the eye. I am going to use the Westman Atelier iPod. So far I have tabac on my lids and time escaped me. So I didn't want to look too scary. I'm going to finish off with some chocolate and we are going to be putting this on as liner and a little bit on the outer edge. I'm going to be using my Chanel, this is the blender shader. And I'm first going to just kind of dip it in here. And as far as longevity, you guys, these did stay on my eyes with minimal fading. So far, so good. So I'm just gonna kind of do a quickie here. it up a little bit into that crease. Just a super easy day eye look. I'm now going to take my definer 
smudger brush and I'm going to use this and I'm going to put a little bit of that underneath my lash line. Then I am going to put on a little bit of liner here and in front of me I have Raven so I'm just going to use a little bit of that just kind of near my lash line. I need a little bit of eyeliner you guys to put on my eyeballs but you could totally just keep it simple just kind of gives myself a little oomph. Okay we've got some easy eyeballs on and I'm going to use the gel bronzer today. I had a request to use this on camera and then I thought you know what let me pull out some of my other little goodies. I'm going to use one of the gelée blushes and we'll use a little highlight too. So so easy you guys. So with this guy here is the bronzer okay and I'm just going to kind of dot this on. It just gives you a super easy, quick glow. I look crazy, I know. You know what, we're going to work fast with this. I don't want that to dry down in a funny way. So I just like to do a little up by my hairline, kind of like where sun would naturally kind of hit little bit on my nose and then I just like to come over here and you guys it does not appear orange on the skin that was what people were asking me um, I find these to kind of be awesome you know as kind of a base glow and then if you wanted to you could also add more like powder on but I never but it just sort of gives the stain. It's a gel, so it's just gonna kind of stay on your skin. Let's go ahead and get a little bronzier. A little goes a long way. So these little tubes will last you forever. And tend to just use my it cosmetics because it's a kind of synthetic brush you can use your fingers you can use a damp beauty blender or sponge of some sort but here's what that kind of looks like very natural looking I'm gonna give me a little bit of a tan but not over the top and again you can build with these okay let me see I have the colors vibrant happy and uh -huh, uh -huh. and lively let's see let's go ahead I think we'll use I tend to use lively the most and nice little color here it's kind of a coral tone and I'm just going to kind of put these on my cheeks don't worry you can shear this out that's what i'm saying so you guys can you see how pretty that is you can just build up a little bit like this or take your brush and one thing is you, you do kind of want to work quickly these will kind of dry wherever you put them so just going to do that The reason I like these kind of gel products is it's just going to give you a really nice kind of natural glow. They doesn't appear like powder on the skin, so it just looks really super natural. For highlight, I'm going to use one of my favorites. This is in Sheen. And we'll just kind of put this up on the top here. A little bit on the bridge of the nose. And then I just like to kind of pounce that in. It's not going to take away. You can still see that pretty shine, but it's going to look really natural. Then once I have all of my gel kind of products on, I'm just going to set the face all over. And I'm going to be using the Armani. 
This is the Neo Nude. This is in 6.5. This is a powder and I initially bought this as a bronzer. I still use it as a bronzer, but I have found that it looks beautiful brushed all over the skin just for a really pretty glow. So this is just going to kind of set all of those gel cream products. Now, net, last but not least, we're going to put on a quick lip. And I did end up purchasing an Hermes Lippy. Look at the cute little box here. We're going to slide this open. I'd gotten a few requests from you guys if I was going to review. I did have a little Nordy's note. I did have a little credit to use. So I thought, why not pick up one of these beauties? And I have to say, the packaging is just right up my alley. Sort of a little bit preppy. Super cute, you guys. Here we go. It feels kind of weighty and just really nice. I ended up getting one of the matte formulas because a lot of the shades that I was looking for in the satin version were sold out in the colors that I was interested in. So, and this one is Rose Bois here and one of the beautiful kind of matte versions. Now I had watched a lot of videos on these and I kind of noticed that it seemed like many people were saying the matte version wasn't that much more different than the sil than the satin one. I keep on saying the silky. Um, I think it is silky satin. But I thought, you know what, I don't have a lot of matte and if these are not going to be super drying on the lip, this color was right up my alley. And here is the color. Just thought it was so pretty. And I'm gonna go ahead and we'll put a little of this on. And here is the shade Rose Bois. And you guys, so far with the formulation, it is feels very velvety, very powdery, but it does not feel dry. So part of the reason I do not like matte on my particular lips, number one, I've got small lips, but I also have more mature lips. So, um, you know, anything that's kind of matte and just going to emphasize lines is not my favorite. What I found with this guy, it feels very moisturizing on the lips but it is very velvety. And I guess when I say powdery, it does have a little bit of a powder feel to it. What I'm liking is that this is going to stain my lips. I'm not someone who always goes and applies their lipstick again, so I kind of get ready for the day. I will, of course, apply if I'm going somewhere special, but I like having a little bit of a stain on my lips. I found that this formulation is kind of very long lasting. Um, and I really liked this color. So I have a fun video coming up with some other bougie lipsticks, but I did want to finish off with this one because these colors tend to sell out really quickly. I am really happy with this purchase. I really do enjoy this color. It's kind of right in my wheelhouse. So, and I do like this formula. So very long lasting, adorable packaging. I love a lot of things from Hermes, but you know, I can't really afford it. So I can afford a lipstick. <laughs> so that was kind of a fun little treat for the day. Okay guys, this is the finished look today using some of the fun new goodies that I have received recently, as well as this new Hermes lippy, which I actually have to say I do love. So you guys, so you guys, I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I'll be back with another video soon.